Uh, good, good morning, everyone. I am excited today to be, here, be at Pearson Town Elementary School here in Durham. I just took a tour, interacted with some of the kids, also spent some time with some of the teachers and teacher assistants. It's clear that people here are committed to their students. They want them to succeed, and it's the kind of public school environment we all want for our kids. They're already back in the classroom here. This is a year-round school, and soon people in traditional schools will be heading back to school. And even before the kids come back, teachers are already hard at work getting their classrooms ready for the academic year. The one thing we know is that far too often teachers are having to dip into their own pockets to cover the cost of classroom supplies. Supplies that their students need to learn and supplies that the state currently is not providing for them. There was a Forbes study back, I think it was 2014, said that teachers on an average were shelling out about $500 a year for school supplies for their classrooms. And we know that they have to hit up parents and local organizations for school supplies. A lot of communities already have taken up this fight and they already are working to get the classrooms stocked with what they need. We have here some representatives of crayons to calculators, for example. Uh, they are helping meet the unmet school supply need here in this school and around Durham. And that's the kind of thing that we want to encourage. So today I'm announcing that we are launching a new statewide annual school supply drive. Our goal is to get public school students and teachers from grade levels, uh, for all grade levels, to get them the supplies that they need for a successful school year. Now, one key here is we want to end these kinds of drives. What we want is a school system that provides what teachers and students need, and that we don't need to have these kinds of drives. For example, earlier in this year in my budget, uh, Representative Mary Ann Black from Durham is here. She helped to fight for my budget. I proposed a $150 annual school supply stipend for every public school teacher in the state. I did this because it was a show of an, an acknowledgement to teachers what we already know they're doing. And we wanted to show respect to them by providing this stipend. The General Assembly did not include it in their budget. I'm going to keep pushing this kind of effort until we make more common sense investments in public schools. But for now, I'm gonna encourage North Carolinians to help fill in the gap by donating a few essential supplies. So these are the kinds of things that we're looking for. We're looking for spiral notebooks. We're looking for pencils. We're looking for pens like this. We're looking for dry erase markers. We're looking for all types of paper. We're looking for tissues and sanitizing wipes. Those are the school supplies that we heard from teachers that they needed the most. And you can help us by bringing your donation to any State Employees Credit Union bank branch across North Carolina. There are more than 260 different locations, or you can bring them to any state government building in Raleigh. I want to thank the State Employees Credit Union for participating in this. Uh, some of the branches have already been doing this over the years, so they're already set up and understand that this is a need that we have. Uh, you can also uh, bring, as I said earlier, to uh, any state government office, and you can start one in your own business. 
by going to governor.nc.gov and you can download the school supply drive kit that provides posters and information to you about what you can do with your own business and where to bring them. And at the end of the drive, communities and schools of North Carolina and AmeriCorps will distribute supplies to the schools across the state. And when you're doing back to school shopping for your family this year, consider purchasing an extra item or two and donating it to this supply drive or to others, local other, others that I talked about. Uh, any extra pack of pencils or pens or reams of paper, they help. I want to thank our partners in this effort, the North Carolina Business Committee for Education, State Employees Credit Union, AmeriCorps, and Communities and Schools of North Carolina. And I'm also proud to be joined by representatives from each of our partners, as well as thank you, Principal Peel and uh, Superintendent Hone, thank you for being here, Assistant Principal Pettifer, and to all of the teachers and teacher assistants and students here today. We hope to make this drive successful and we hope to be able to help every school in North Carolina for school supplies.